Hi friends, I have given a video before on this DC motor, this 12 volt automotive radiator cooling fan DC motor which is used everywhere nowadays. So this video for the dismantling I have given before and now is the assembling video in front of you. We have created, I have created these uh, carbon brushes you can see. These carbon brushes you can purchase from the market or otherwise you have to create yourself. I mean to say that how the creation is, the creation is you have to cut from the carbon plate uh, one of my very best friend he commented very nicely a very nice person uh, he is commenting all the times to me very nicely he said that uh, they are they while, while he was in an automotive industry he was um, cutting uh, carbon brushes and he was making carbon brushes uh, with the help of a uh, sandpaper so same way same technique i used over here i am complimenting him because he is always com commenting very nicely so these brushes i created and the video will be shared with you i already uh, shot this that video and i will bring in front of you that video also how we are cutting and how we are uh, sending those uh, carbon brushes uh, according to our needs here are the bearings the two new bearings i will install uh, these are 608 small bearings so one will go over here in this end cover uh, which is the non drive and side end cover and I will put a nut bolt over here and will hammer on the top so this way while I will hammer it so this uh, bearing will go in its housing and it will be fixed sometimes we are fixing on the shaft and sometimes we are fixing in the housing so these small motors they need to fix these brushes uh, these uh, bearings in the housing so I'm going to do the same thing uh, with the help of uh, this nut bolt. We can firmly fix uh, this bearing in. Uh, so you need uh, some sort of tool also if you, you're needing uh, one. Uh, as you can see the bearing had been fixed firmly in the bearing housing. Now is the time for the drive and side bearing. This drive and side bearing installation is a little bit tricky. The reason is magnets are inside and while we put this bearing in, the magnets will catch that bearing and the bearings will the bearing will not go easily in the in its housing so what we can do over here uh, we can use a screwdriver a long blade screwdriver we can use and we can uh, put that bearing with the help of this screwdriver inside and uh, that screwdriver will also be grabbed by the magnet but it's not a problem uh, in some way you can manage it uh, then I'm using uh, the hammer handle this is the wooden handle for the hammer I can uh, put this bearing in in its housing because these are small bearings you know small bearings can be easily fixed they are not a big problem for the fixation now the tricky part is coming uh, the fixation of this uh, armature uh, in the bearing before the fixation of the armature what we can do is we are cleaning the commutator with the help of uh, sandpaper uh, with fine sandpaper you can uh, clean this uh, commutator because this commutator is accumulating uh, carbon uh, and the pits are creating in its surface so those pits should be clear and uh, the carbon should not be there on the surface of the commutator if carbon is there so the new brushes will not make good contact and also you don't need a very polished or very smooth surface because if you make it very very much polished or smooth then it will be a problem i mean the contact will not be uh, good so this is not a very perfect surface i just cleaned it with the help of rag also so you can use and now the time is coming while we are putting it in uh, so first of all we have to put um, two uh, springs and then the brushes we will slip uh, on these springs so they will be spring loaded all the time these brushes should have pressure and that pressure will be built uh, by these carbon uh, these springs uh, so now if you are two people then it's easy to put this uh, this inside but if you are single like me at the moment uh, then this is a little bit tricky you have to do it one side first you have to grab the brush and put it one side I mean to say the the carbon uh, will just touch to the commutator surface and the other one we have to use a small screwdriver and we have to press against the small screwdriver and uh, grab it and then wiggle the, uh, the cover uh, along with the 
armature and it will be fixed i mean to say the shaft will be fixed in the bearing so this way our fixation should be and now i'm just checking that all the things is good and there is no problem uh, associated also you have to check uh, the wires uh, the lids wire for the ca carbon brushes so this should not touch to the body as over here it was touching to one of the rivet which was close connected to the body so it should not be your motor should not be grounded some motors have one brush grounded that's okay but in this case uh, both the brushes are insulated from the body uh, so this way now also the shaft will be grabbed by the magnets uh, so carefully put it with a force little bit force will be required by your hand so then it will not be grabbed inside and also put your uh, index finger on the front so then the shaft you will grab and all of the sudden it will not go in uh, it should go gradually so this way we put it in and now is the time to hammer it because in the front side bearing it is a little bit uh, hard the shaft is a little bit hard to put it in it should be because if it is not hard then the shaft could move inside the bearing which is not a perfect thing the bearing um, in, in a race should be grabbed by the shaft and the outer rest should be grabbed by the uh, end cover so this way we put it in and you have to check by your hand that everything is okay i mean the motor is spinning it will not be very very much openly spin but it should spin uh, not with restriction because little restriction will be there because brushes are there and this way the tabs we are just going to make them hammer uh, so then the motor will be locked and in meanwhile time you have to check it also uh, that the motor is not going to be uh, stuck or something is not uh, be like that uh, abnormality should not come i mean if abnormality is coming as you have to make your way uh, to handle that abnormality so this way as you can see our motor is free now not very very much free but it is free uh, it should be said that it is free this is not uh, an induction motor that it will um, firmly or uh, very freely it will spin this is dc motor so some uh, pressure is there uh, with the carbon brush so here is the power supply uh, i'm going to use this power supply is 12 volt of course and 3 amperes lg power supply uh, this power supply i will use to power up this motor uh, you can use any power supply i mean it should be uh, somewhat of the same uh, specs i mean some power should be there if it is very very much low power a uh, low amperage power supply uh, the motor could not spin that's not the case uh, in our case it is three ampere so it's enough uh, i'm just putting this motor and you can see it is spinning on the camera it looks that it's uh, spinning slowly but it is not the case the camera is not peaking uh, it is showing that this is spinning slow but this is not the case in reality in reality it is spinning very very much fast uh, with a fast speed it is sp speed it is spinning and the rpm is good enough uh, for this motor only the camera uh, visualization effect is there uh, which is you know like that uh, so with a 12 volt it is running it's perfect uh, now is the time to do one more thing I'm just going to show you that thing by which we are going to do. This is a single uh, 1.5 uh, volt battery which is used in clocks. I'm just going to show you with the help of meter 1.5 volt you will be able to see plus and minus I'm going to connect with a meter. So 1.5 to 1 volt you can see 1.5 uh, so 1.5 volt battery we are going to spin this motor with. If it is spinning with this battery the motor is perfect and uh, we made it very perfectly if it is not then our motor will not be perfect something like that this is my experience so that's why i'm doing uh, so let us see it will be spin very very much slow it's not spinning fast with this battery but slowly it should spin as you can see it is spinning and slowly it is spinning gradually it is spinning but minimum we know that our motor is good we made it good and with this 1.5 volt even it is spinning so that's okay even a 220 volt motor also you can spin with such a small battery uh, 12 volt should be so if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications thanks for watching